Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to give examples of how humans use the Earth's resources. You should then be able to describe the difference between finite and renewable resources and give examples. Now humans use a lot of the Earth's resources and I'm showing you four examples here. We use resources to provide warmth, shelter, food and transport. In many cases, these resources are produced by agriculture, in other words, farming. A good example is cotton, which is produced from a plant. Modern agriculture allows us to grow enough cotton to meet the needs of the world. Humans also plant trees, and then they can be used for timber or fuel. For example, many power stations now run on biofuel, such as wood chips. So again, agriculture helps us to use the Earth's resources more efficiently. In some cases, chemistry has replaced natural resources with a synthetic alternative. A good example of this is rubber. Natural rubber comes from the sap of a tree. However, synthetic rubber is produced using crude oil, and around two-thirds of the rubber used in the world is now synthetic. Now, some natural resources are finite. This means that they cannot be replaced as quickly as they're being used. A good example is fossil fuels. Humans use millions of kilograms of fossil fuels every day. However, the rate that fossil fuels form is much slower than this. That means that if we continue using fossil fuels at this rate, then one day they will run out. So fossil fuels are a finite resource. Metals are also a finite resource. Again, huge amounts of metal are extracted from the Earth's crust. And if we continue using them at this rate, they will run out. Some resources are renewable. And a good example is wood. We can replace these resources as quickly as we use them, so renewable resources will never run out. Now it's really important that human activities are sustainable. In other words, we can meet our needs without preventing future generations from meeting theirs. Chemistry plays a really important role in how we use resources. For example, artificial fertilizers allow us to grow more food with the land available. Chemistry also helps us to provide water that's safe to drink. And processes such as phytomining and bioleaching help us to extract metals more efficiently. And we'll be looking at all of these in later videos in this topic. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the use of resources in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.